In order to create high quality movies, TV shows or commercials, we need to use good post-production software. Some of them are free and others are exclusive to those who have the budget or those who can afford it. And they all have different features and tools to offer depending on whether you are a one-man shop or whether you work at a VFX studio. In this video, we will take a look at 7 different post-production software and what they have to offer. Number 7. Natron Natron is a free and open source node based compositing software. It has been influenced by digital compositing software such as Avid Media Illusion, Blackmagic Fusion, Autodesk Flame, and Nuke, from which its user interface and many of its concepts are derived. Natron is a good digital compositor that can handle 2D and 2.5 needs for compositing work. Its OpenFX architecture is what makes it one of the most flexible open source compositors for visual effects. On the surface, Natron has a powerful GUI interface that is a flexible and intuitive multi-platform node-based engine. It may seem to be a simple compositing application, but it does have layers of complexity that allows artists to be able to be more creative. In addition to that, it has a flexible roto and roto paint toolset that can generate unlimited layers of masks, mats, and shapes, which can be really effective for those who don't have the budget to afford using commercial software that are used in the industry. Also, Natron has a powerful 2D and planar tracker to help reduce hours of rotoscoping to meet personal or client's deadlines. It has some strong keying and matte generation tools that have been developed from the main OFX software developers and a plethora of other tools from the open source plugin developing community. Number 6. HitFilm Pro HitFilm Pro is a video editing, visual effects, and 3D compositing software for filmmakers and professional motion artists. This program is good for many things, but it is not really used in the VFX industry for film and TV shows because it is mainly used to create short films and small projects. Also there is HitFilm Express, which is the free version for compositing, editing, and grading needs. The main difference between the two applications is that some effects, advanced particle simulations, and 3D models capabilities have been removed. But many people start with the free version because they can later add specific elements that they have interest in by purchasing them individually from the HitFilm store rather than paying for the whole kit. There is actually a big community of HitFilm and some good resources out there for those who want to learn the software, including many hours of free tutorials on the HitFilm site, in addition to their own YouTube channel on which they post tutorials on how to use the software. Number 5. Blender Even though Blender is a 3D package that is mainly used for 3D modeling and animation, it can also be used for post-production work. Blender comes with a fully fleshed built-in compositor. This allows you to post-produce your renders without leaving Blender, which is great if you are working on your own projects and you don't want to use multiple applications or because you can't afford them in the first place since Blender is free. The compositor comes with an impressive library of nodes for creating camera effects, color grading, vignettes, and much more. And it can do full compositing with images and video files. Blender also features production-ready camera and object tracking, allowing you to import raw footage, track it, mask areas, and reconstruct the camera movements live in your 3D scene, eliminating the need to switch between programs. The camera and object tracker includes automatic and manual tracking, powerful camera reconstruction, real-time preview of your track footage and 3D scene, in addition to support for planar tracking and tripod solvers. Because Blender is free and powerful at the same time, a lot of small VFX studios and VFX artists are using it on a daily basis on their VFX projects. Actually, Blender was used to create some interesting films such as Tears of Steel, which is a short sci-fi film created by the Blender Institute, also Skywatch, which is a high-quality short film, also created using Blender in part. Number 4. After Effects After Effects is a tool that is being used to create animation, motion graphics effects, and VFX work. Unlike other products from Adobe such as Premiere Pro, which is more focused on video editing, After Effects is designed to help create all the cool extras that make the final product look even better. 
It's used by a variety of creative professionals for film and video for websites and social media. Even though After Effects is not the best VFX software, it can be used for creating mind-blowing visual effects. Using it, it is possible to build accurate masks and keys, use rotoscoping to separate foreground from background, perform motion and camera tracking, and 3D elements to a scene. After Effects is generally used for shots requiring basic composition or color correction, because medium and big studios do their heavy lifting work using software such as Nuke, Fusion, and Flame. But After Effects is used to do most of the things needed for VFX work nonetheless. It is actually an award-winning tool. The Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences gave a scientific and engineering award to Adobe After Effects. Number 3. Fusion Fusion is one of the advanced compositing software for visual effects artists, broadcast and motion graphics, and 3D animators as well. It is developed by Blackmagic Design and originally authored by Aeon Software. It is typically used to create visual effects and digital compositing for movies, TV series, and commercials because it has been used for this work on endless Hollywood movies in the last 30 years or so. A lot of Hollywood's biggest blockbusters and hit television shows use Fusion to create their visual effects, and it has been used on feature films like The Hunger Games, Doctor Strange, and The Guardians of the Galaxy, as well as hit television shows like Empire, NCIS, and American Horror Story. Fusion also plays a major role in the development of cinematics for video games such as Dawn of War 3, Halo 5, and much more. This program can be used to track objects, retouch images, animate titles, or recreate particle effects. Fusion has a massive toolset that lets artists tackle the demanding jobs in the industry, and it has a 3D workspace along with tools for compositing, keying, painting, animation, VR, stereoscopic 3D, and much more. It combines effects and motion graphics along with 3D modeling and rendering into a single toolset. That means that 3D artists can import and render 3D models and scenes with the rest of the composite in Fusion, without necessarily having to pre-render assets or transfer between multiple applications. Fusion employs a node-based interface in which complex processes are built up by connecting a flowchart of schematic of many nodes, each of which represent a simpler process such as blur or color correction. This type of composite interface allows more flexibility including the ability to modify parameters of a previous image processing step while viewing the final composite. Upon its acquisition by Blackmagic Design, Fusion was released into two versions, the Freeware Fusion and the commercially sold Fusion Studio. Number 2. Flame Flame is a unique high-end VFX software that can handle the entire post-production process from editing, color correction, VFX, compositing, and motion graphics, all the way to delivery. It has been one of the most important software of advertising agencies and film directors for the creation of high-end VFX and finishing their films for about 20 years now. Usually, Flame is used in the post-production pipeline with other tools and use production tracking software as well. Often experienced Flame artists are interested in working in the big-budget feature films and TV projects and they work closely with the VFX supervisors for look development, composition, and post-vis. Actually, Flame artists today are not available as the other artists are from other post-production software such as Nuke, Fusion, and After Effects because, first of all, Flame subscription is one of the most expensive among all compositing software, also because the industry has shifted to using software such as Nuke even though Flame is powerful and still used in big productions. Number 1. Nuke Right now, Nuke is the most popular compositing software in the VFX industry because it has all the tools necessary to get the job done, no matter how complex the project is or what is its scope. Nuke has advanced node-based compositing, 3D tracking, and model building tools, and much more. What makes the software desired by artists and studios is the unparalleled power and performance that meets the needs of modern production work because, as we know, projects are getting bigger and more demanding. Using its node-based workflow, Nuke delivers everything artists need to tackle when it comes to diverse challenges of digital compositing. This includes industry standard keying, 
rotoscoping, vector painting tools, color correction, and much more. This post-production software is currently used by most of the VFX studios around the world, and it is dominating the market to a certain extent right now. Nuke's users include Digital Domain, Walt Disney Animation Studios, Blizzard Entertainment, DreamWorks Animation, Sony Pictures Imageworks, Framestore, Wada Digital, Double Negative, ILM, and much more. We mentioned here some of the best options for post-production work, whether you want to work on your own personal projects or whether you want to join the industry. If you are new, you can check software such as Natron, Blender, or HitFilm Express to build up experience and to learn more about the field. But if you can afford to pay for software such as Nuke, you can learn the software to get a chance to work professionally in VFX studios. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.